In this demo, I'll be showing you how you can install Node, how to update Node, and how to remove Node from Linux. Now, depending on what version of Linux you're running, whether that be a desktop such as Ubuntu or a server such as Ubuntu Server, whatever the case may be, you need to be able to install Node. Now, in this example, I'll be showing you how to do this with the command line. Now, there's if you're using a GUI, there's definitely a different process of doing this. But more than likely, if you're using Linux, I will consider you a pro because more than likely you have install Linux. And, you know, if if you're playing around with Linux, you're 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 a plus user, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the terminal, and I'll go ahead and show you how we can actually install Node in Linux. Go ahead and see see if we can get. Uh, Node.js here installed in our Ubuntu machine. Now, if, if your your first attempt might be, hey Rick, why do I just do this? Wouldn't that work? Technically, it would, but we don't want to run this because uh, some of the the packages with Ubuntu are not updated as frequently as you would like. So you might end up with a version of Node that's really really old, or it's no longer being uh, maintained. So you don't want to run any of this node or node.js legacy commands. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and install node based on the distributions that are available to you from the node.js.org website. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox here and we're going to go over to the node.js.org website and download the tar from their main website. So I'm going to go back over here and see if I can show you this window. And we're going to go to node.js.org and we want to go to that link there. And we have a couple options here. Again, if you don't know what these versionings are, what the difference are, go back a couple of videos where I talk about semantic versioning and how semantic versioning works. And as you can see here, we have 4.41 and 5.91. And I'm just going to go and select the 5.91 version. And I'm going to select save file. And this is going to go ahead and start the, the download process for me. And, and I want to actually run a couple commands here once the download is completed. So view. Well, let's just go check. CD downloads. And as you can see here, we have a couple versions here of Node. And as you can see, the version that we downloaded was 5.91 version. So I'm going to go ahead here and run this. Uh, command that will go ahead and extract out that uh, tar file. So we're going to do tar minus xf, and we want to see the name of the file, which this is, is going to be node 5.91. And I'm going to click on that. And as you can see here, I went ahead and created this file, this folder here called 5.91 uh, node. And what you want to do is you want to move all the content from that uh, folder over to your binary folder, which is already in your path variable. Again, if you don't know what none of this means, go back to the Hello Environment series where I show you what the path variable is and how it works in Linux. So you want to do sudo move, and what you want to do is you want to do node 5.91, and what you want to move is you want to move the binaries, and where you want to move the binaries is going to be all everything that's inside this binary folder. You want to move it over to user local bin and it's gonna go ahead and prompt me for my password and as you can see it went ahead and moved them but you're not done yet because remember uh, node comes with some pre-packaged uh, bundled things so you want to do this one more command sudo move node 5.91 linux and what you want to do is you want to use uh, lib node modules which are some of the Require modules that no needs, and what you want to do is you want to move this to user local, and you want to say lib something like this, and as you can see, you want to head and move that directory over to that lib, and now now you're pretty much all set and ready to go to start using node. Node now now if you if there's some whatever reason reason those command command doesn't work. Let's see let's see node node it's v it's v as you can see we have node five point one install stall now if you run this command it says you know command now command now found it's not in your it's not in your variable variable, variable. variable. again this again, is more than likely just because that because that narrow indirect direct is not referenced by your variable
that's pretty much all that means that means you get an invalid command. command. Now I want to talk, I want to talk about a couple, couple things here before, before I go. I go. Oh, and how to know, 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 know. If you want to know, 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 the best choice is to be able to, to remove no no and then install no no again. Now, for whatever reason, you might want to use Node with different versions. For example, if you want to use a LTS one and a stable release, this is supported within Linux, Linux, but you have to know a little bit more about the path variable and the binary uh, directory in order for you to be able to use this different versions of Node within within uh, Linux. Again, this is more of an advanced topic. I will not be covering it, but I just want to let you know that it is possible. So if you want to update Node, make sure you remove Node, and then you install Node, and then you will be in the re latest release of Node. Now, if you want to remove Node, it's actually pretty simple. You want to go ahead and do sudo remove user local bin and you want to go ahead and pass in your variables which is going to be node and npm. Now this goes ahead and removes node. Now that node is removed we can verify that node is no longer installed by doing node minus v as you can see, it says the program node cannot be found, and, and then it suggests you a couple packages for you to be able to use. So that's all there is to uh, installing, removing, and updating node in Linux.